Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and welcome to my rooftop in Vancouver. Today's class is a fusion between yoga and fitness. And if you're new to yoga, you might be thinking that yoga is just about stretching, but there are a lot of postures that can help you to grow a stronger body and have a lot of fun. In today's class, all you'll need is a mat and a good attitude. When you're ready, we'll get started in tabletop. Place your hands under shoulders and knees underneath your hips and take two rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, breath opening up the spine. Exhale, breath rounding it in. Try that again. And then come to a neutral spine and grip the ground with your fingers as you hover your knees off of the ground. Try to keep a nice long straight spine as you do this and grip the ground with your fingers. You'll feel this firing up in your thighs. Continue to squeeze the belly in and hold it here for three, two, one. Lower your knees and take two more rounds of cat and cow, moving with your breath. Spending some time here, opening up the body and then finding neutral spine. We'll hover our knees off of the ground once again squeeze it in. Try not to let this all be about the tops of the thighs, but grip the ground with your fingers to also engage through your forearms. Any shaking in the thighs, arms, it's really good. Hold it here for three, two, one. Lower your knees. Take one more round of two cats, two cows, Back to neutral spine. We'll try that one more time here. Squeeze the belly in. Grow nice and long all the way through your spine from the crown of your head all the way to your tailbone and grip the ground, holding it in for three, two, one. Lower your knees. Make your way up into your first downward facing dog. You can take a moment just to pedal out your feet right and left. And then pausing there, finding some stillness. So downward facing dog might already be an intense posture for you. Well, feel free to take child's pose at any point, but down dog's really gonna be our resting place. So anytime we make our way here, take a moment to find your breath, to find some length and space. Take in one more inhale. And on your exhale, look forward as you walk your feet to the top of your mat. We'll pause there in a forward fold. Bend through your knees to any degree to find length through your hamstrings with the option here of taking opposite elbows and swaying side to side. And then lower your hands underneath your shoulders and lift up halfway, inhale. And on your exhale, fold forward. One more like that halfway lift, lengthen your spine, exhale to fold. Now come to stand, arms will lift up overhead, and then hands meet at your heart. We're going to get started with three rounds of Sun Salutation A at the top of your mat, but we'll do some variations when we get to our plank position and know that you can always come down to your knees. All right, top of your mat, here we go. Inhale, arms sweep to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, plant your palms and step back. Find your push-up position. Option to lower knees and hold it here as you squeeze the belly in. Same long spine as we were in our hovering tabletop. Squeeze the belly in. Now, the option here is to take knees for five chaturanga push-ups. If you're going to go on your knees, just make sure to shift your weight forward, elbows right beside the body as we come down halfway to 90 and then push back up. Four more like that. Inhale back. I'll take the last three off of my knees, shift forward, exhale down. Inhale up, two more, and up. Last one, and up. This time, come all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes. Inhale to baby cobra. And exhale your way back, downward facing dog. So just let that go. Starting off strong here with some push-ups and building strength into our triceps. Take one more inhale. 
Look forward, come on your toes, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway, and exhale, fold down. Coming to stand, arms overhead, and exhale, hands meet at heart center. We'll keep moving here, arms lift to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, step back to plank, hold it there once again. All right, listen carefully. We're gonna lower one elbow down at the time. Start with your right, then to your left, then push back up onto your right and your left. Now go the opposite, so, so left and then right. Press back up left and right. We're gonna do that a couple more times on each side. Try not to let your body shift from side to side too much, but squeeze everything in. Last time on the left and up. Shift your weight forward, lower half roll the way. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Again, this is your resting posture. So take whatever modifications work for you. And feel free just to take pause at any moment. Send your gaze forward, come high on your toes, bend your knees, step or hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Coming to stand, arms to the sky, and exhale, heart center. Let's keep moving, inhale and breath. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step back, find your plank again. Hold it there, squeeze the belly in. We're gonna get some movement, a little bit of cardio here as we take mountain climber. So one knee draws into the chest, Come high on the ball of the other foot and then switch. Same thing, switch. And then build up some momentum. Try to be as light as you can on your toes. Moving back and forth for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shift your weight forward, lower half for all the way. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward dog. Breathe deeply, observing how your pulse has quickened. Take one more breath. Exhale, look forward, come high on your toes, bend your knees, step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale to stand, arms lift overhead. Exhale, heart center and pause. We're gonna to come to the top of your mat with your big toes touching in an inch between your heels. This next sequence is all about legs. We're gonna start in chair pose, Utkatasana, one of my favorites. So on your inhale, arms overhead and sink down into your chair. As you come lower, just think about drawing your knees back in space, imagining your knees over your ankles. And see if you can go just a little lower, squeezing the belly in, take one more breath. Exhale your hands to your heart. Now listen carefully. Start to de-weight just your left foot about an inch or two off of the ground, long spine. On your next inhale, come forward to warrior three, hands at your heart, hips square. And then exhale your way back into that hovering chair, arms to the sky. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale to chair. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale to chair. One more time, inhale, exhale back to chair. Now this time as we hover into our warrior three, we'll draw your arms long beside your body, become even longer through your spine and then bend your front leg as you step all the way back, finding your way into low lunge. Inhale as your arms lift and exhale, settle into your hips, keeping them nice and square. Pull your right hip back, send your left hip forward. Draw your hands back behind you as you interlace your fingers, open up the chest. Now stay here with your lunge as you lift up to the sky, inhale. Then exhale, use your core as you fold forward, lifting arms off of the tailbone. Inhale, peel yourself back up and exhale forward. Move nice and slow with control, inhale. Exhale forward, last time. This time as you inhale, release your arms up overhead and exhale your hands down around the front foot. 
step back, take a vinyasa flow, make your way back, downward facing dog. And just pause here. Once again, finding your breath and finding length. Then looking forward, come high on your toes, bend your knees, step or float to the top. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, heart center. We'll try that again on the other side. So coming to the top of your mat, chair pose, inhale, sink down into your seat. Strong legs. Draw your weight back, knees over your ankles as much as you can. Long through the sides of your waist, sink a little bit lower. Now draw your hands to your heart. All right, so from here, we're hovering that right foot off of the ground. Lots of intensity on that left thigh. On your inhale, come forward, warrior three. Keep your hands at your heart. And then coming right back through to that hovering chair. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, back. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, chair. One more time. Exhale to chair and hold it here. Draw your hands to your heart. And as you float back, this time arms long beside the body, reaching forward, reaching back through the spine all the way down to the foot. Then bend your front leg as you step back, gently finding your way to low lunge. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, sink into your hips, drawing the tailbone down. Relax your shoulders as your hands draw back behind you. On your next breath, lift your heart to the sky. And then exhale, come forward over your left knee. Hands might lift up. Inhale, make your way back. Exhale, down. Inhale, peel your heart up. Use the core. Exhale, down. This time as you inhale, release your arms up overhead. And exhale your hands down around your front foot. Step it back through vinyasa. And meet back, downward facing dog. Take one more breath. Exhale, looking forward, high on the toes, bend your knees, step or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And come to stand, arms lift to the sky. Exhale, heart center. This next sequence is going to take us through one of my favorite moves, which uh, I've sort of dubbed the yoga burpees. So start by coming to the top of your mat with your feet as wide as your mat and on a 45 degree angle and lift your arms overhead, inhale. On your exhale, make your way down into your yoga squat, hands at the heart. Just take a bit of movement here to help you open up the hips. Nice, we aren't gonna stay here too long because we are gonna move. And just try as you're moving through these um, yoga burpees to move your body in a way as fluidly as possible, trying to absorb with your knees on the way back and on the way forward. So you might just pause to look at how this this works before you get going. On your inhale, you begin to come to stand. On your exhale, right back down, hands under shoulders. Step or hop your way back, bending your knees, and then right back up into your squat. Really, it's about moving and bending your knees as fluidly as you can to not land and put too much pressure on your joints. So on your inhale, we go up. Exhale, right back down, hands under shoulders, jumping back and jumping forward, slowing yourself down, hands to heart. Inhale up, exhale down, move it back, looking forward, hands to your heart, inhale, exhale down. Keep moving like this at your own pace, sort of frog like through water. We'll do one more. meeting your way back and finding some stillness in your malasana, your yoga squat. Try to lift your heart into your thumbs, finding length through your spine and pause it there. 
and bring your hands down to the ground at shoulder distance apart and either pause here in a forward fold or if you'd like to fly today come high on your toes bend your knees make your way into your bakasana crow pose try to puff up the back here as you draw your heels in towards your glute and then step or shoot your legs back vinyasa flow meeting and down dog with big toes touching pausing here again always whenever we make our way back here you can lower your knees for childs we're going to keep moving send your right leg back and up to the sky hips square exhale knee and nose might touch inhale send it back exhale do your right shoulder optional push-up inhale send it back over to your left tricep optional push-up inhale back this time step outside of your right pinky and gently lower the back knee to the ground for a lizard and just pause here to settle into your hips with the option of reaching back for the thigh stretch and open that right shoulder this will feel really nice if you've just been working on those legs in the last sequence been doing any running or cycling take a moment to enjoy the stretch and then release the foot now listen carefully root down into your left hand we're moving here into a modified side plank reaching the right arm high to the sky and I've come onto the knife edge of both feet nice from here we're going to draw the right hand underneath our body to twist and then send it right back up keep the hips high exhale twist it down inhale up either staying there or you can float your right foot on top of the left reaching down pull back up two more and up last one and up option here to come back through vinyasa or skip it meet back in downward dog <sighs> All right, we're going to jump or step to Malasana as we make our way through another series of our yoga burpees. So when you're ready, come to the top of your mat, hands at your heart. Here we go. Inhale, lift, exhale, return, hands down, jump back, bend your knees and come right back to the top. Hands at your heart. Inhale, exhale, back of your mat and forward as slow as you can inhale exhale down move it back come forward we're gonna do one more exhale down and back and forward hands at your heart and settle back into your yoga squats you should feel your pulse racing a little bit of cardio there Try to keep in mind that we move as fluidly as you can. It's not about the repetitions. It's more about the movement and the feeling into your body. Take one more breath. All right, when you're ready, hands under shoulders. Make your way into your forward fold. Option to fly here for round two of Bakasana Crow Pose. Try to protract your shoulders. Finding a little bit more lift up here and when you're ready step or hop your way back vinyasa downward dog big toes touch pausing here to find your breath and then when you're ready send your left leg back and up to the sky hips square exhale around your spine knee and nose inhale send it back exhale to your left shoulder optional push-up inhale three like a dog exhale to the right tricep optional push up Ooh, that one's hard and then step outside of your right pinky for a lizard and gently lower the right knee and pause here as you lower the hips to the ground and send the heart forward through the shoulders nice either stay here or reach your left hand back for the thigh stretch again feels really nice after our chair pose release the foot and then coming into that modified side plank root down your right hand as you come onto the knife edge of both feet 
left arm lifts to the sky. On your exhale, keep your hips high as you scoop under, and then pull yourself back up using obliques. Exhale down, inhale, pull. Option to stay there or to float into full side plank. Exhale down, inhale up. Two more like that, and up. Hips high, last time. Hold it there. Make your way over into plank. Option to cycle through. Meeting back downward dog. And we're gonna finish off with some core. So when you're ready, hop your way through as your legs cross, finding your way onto our seat for boat pose, Navasana, one of my favorites. You can start with your hands behind your thighs and try to keep a nice long spine here. It's really tricky. <laughs> All right, extra bonus to release your arms alongside your legs. Keep pulling your heart up to the sky, maybe straightening your legs. Three, two, one. We're gonna lower to our half boat. Try to keep your heels and your shoulders off of the ground as you pull your belly button down to the ground. Squeeze your thighs in, squeeze your glutes for three, two, one, right back up to boat. We'll do our last one here, lifting the heart up. Bonus to straighten your legs for three, two, and one. <sighs> All right, so one of the ways that I like to end class is by taking a dolphin plank series. So you can start to make your way there. This is again for core, also in shoulders. <laughs> All right, place your elbows to the ground. I like to clasp my hands to get started and make sure that your elbows are underneath your shoulders. When you're ready, step your feet back into your dolphin plank, squeezing belly in. Try to keep your hips in the same line as your shoulders. And then we'll move from side to side here. So coming onto both of your, the sides of your feet as you reach your right arm up. Nice. And then back through center over to the other side, left arm reaches. Try that one more time on each side. Keep your hips high and stable, squeezing the belly in, back through center. All right, listen carefully. This time, as we turn off onto the left side of the foot, see if you can draw your right foot up off of the ground, as slow as you can return, back through center, and over to the right side, left arm lifts, Left leg lifts, slow it down with resistance, come back. We'll try that one more time on either side. Left leg, sorry, right leg lifts, back through center. Over to the other side, left leg lifts. Use resistance to slow it down and back through center. All right, last 10, nine, squeeze it in, eight, seven, long line, six, five, you can do it, four, three, two, and one. Child's pose with knees closer together. I like to draw arms alongside the body. Forehead to the mat. Feel free to stay here as long as you like. And when you're ready, make your way back up. You probably deserve a nice shavasana after that or to stretch out your legs some more. I hope that was helpful today. And if you have any questions about yoga and fitness and some fusion, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Namaste.